Hi, my name is Laura Clark and welcome to today's video. I'm going to share with you how I became a self-taught designer and it was through having really creative parents and being homeschooled. I attribute the most success in learning how to design without ever going to fashion design school. Now, the thing is, is I did go to college, but I never finished because college is not my cup of tea and I prefer learning at my own pace and picking my own learning materials. So here is how I learned how to design without ever going to New York City. So the first thing I did was, um, was be surrounded by creative things and that was very helpful because my mom is a very creative crafty person and she always had little things for me and my siblings to play with and create with and make with we were always like cutting and gluing and drawing and painting and all of the creative crafty things that you could have your kid do we could do because my mom had all of that creative crafty things for us to work with. I remember when I was around two, she taught me the concept of sewing through sewing cards. And then I also did my first little DIY of taking this shawl and making it into a poncho with her help. And then when I was tired of having it be a poncho, we took a big old plastic needle and some thread or not some thread yarn and sewed it back up. So there it was, I could wear it as a shawl again, but I never really liked it after it was sewn up because you know, it just wasn't the same. So it became a poncho again, but that was essentially my version of a security blanket because I've always been a bit of a clothes horse. I love clothes and I love getting dressed. And I love looking into what's in other people's closets and just building a really cool closet. So when I was in elementary school, I would always look in my friend's closets and see what they had. And also ask for the Barbie clothes that they didn't want. And when their moms were like, Ooh, we don't want you to give any more any more Barbie clothes to um, Laura. I was disappointed, but then I'm like, wait, I can make my own Barbie clothes. So that's what I did. I started my first design, designing actual clothes for Barbie. And I did that for most of my teen years. And it was very instrumental in seeing how shapes fit on a form. And Barbie is the perfect mannequin because she's hard plastic. So you don't have to worry about the plushy aspect of other soft dolls. So it was great to learn how to design with Barbie. And when I got older, the first thing that I pattern drafted for myself, super simple, I would hardly call it design, but design is still design. And that was making skirts. So I started making skirts when I was like 16, 17 ish. And um, that was very useful because when my friend got married, I got to make the skirt that I was wore in the, um, in the picture that we all took together, um, after the rehearsal, man, I don't know why that was so hard to remember, probably because it was a very long time ago. Anywho, um, so that is how I got my start with design. It was through curiosity and exploration and also being homeschooled instead of studying just normal history, which I did. I also studied fashion history and read every book I could get my hands on at the library on how to um, sew and how to create clothes and clothing construction. And then when I went thrifting, I would also thrift all the old books on sewing that I could get my hands on. And my mom had a few, she has never been much of a sewer. So um, she gave those to me. And that was also very, very instrumental as well for getting a rounded education on the fine art of sewing and clothing construction. Now, when it comes to drafting patterns beyond draping on Barbie, I decided to learn how to flat pattern draft because I knew the best way to learn how to drape was to have a mannequin, which I didn't have then and I still don't have. And I like flat pattern drafting because I find it's very easy to do when you're in a small space. So the books that I use to learn how to flat pattern draft is Making Patterns from Finished Clothes, which is super amazing. I highly recommend getting this book. I know there are a lot more recent books, but it really is so great. It has the best illustrations ever. And it's from the mid 80s and it's a great book. And then for learning how to make a sloper and how to take that sloper and make different shapes with it, I highly recommend this book, Make, pa make Your Own Patterns from 
yeah, Make Your Own Patterns by Renee Berg from the mid 90s. It will show you how to make everything from coats to blazers to dresses. It'll give you the sloper and it'll show you how you can take those shapes and make them into different shapes. And um, my best resource for additional pattern knowledge is going to Pinterest. You can find a wealth of old images on Pinterest. And of course, when you thrift in eBay, look for every old sewing book you can get your hands on because they are a wealth of knowledge and old sewing books from the turn of the last century are amazing as well because there are a lot of old techniques that create really beautifully crafted clothes. So that is how I learned to um, design without ever going to fashion design school. Now I did go to college as I said before, I never finished. And the classes that I did take that were extremely helpful was all the art classes I could get my hands on. And um, I studied graphic design briefly because I thought I would love to be a graphic designer. And that's not true. I love to design things that you can wear because it's a lot more fun to wear a purse or a dress or a pair of shoes than it is to design logos, which are amazing too, but that's just a whole different realm of design. So I hope this gave a little light into how I learned to design. And if you are looking to learn how to design and you don't want to go to school, um, highly recommend reading anything. And if you have any questions, comment down below and let me know or reach out through email or DM. I'd love to help you any way I can. And I hope you guys have a great day. And thank you so much for watching. And please like, comment, share, and subscribe or follow if you're on Instagram. And I'll see you later. Bye.